Alright guys, I am back with another Jurassic World Mini Action Dinos video and today we'll be diving into the Camp Cretaceous 15 pack. Um, oof. Let's uh, sweep away all of the uh, clickbait stuff real quick. Kind of clear the area. There we go. That's much better. And we'll move these guys back. And there we go. Let's take a closer look at the box and see what's inside. Um, so we got the standard Brachiosaurus from uh, the past lineup. I think I got two of those already. This one looks to be an exclusive. It's got shiny on it, but it's also solid white. Um, the past Indominus Rexes we've seen are just in translucent, and I think there might have been a silver one. Got the basic Rexy. That's a beautiful Pteranodon. It's sporting the Jurassic World colors. So that's pretty neat. Um, we got the classic Demorphodon. I think that's been in a few lineups before. We got all three of the Baryonyx figures. Um, this one's from previous lineups. I think it was in a three pack in the first lineup. And it might have made its way into um, another one afterwards, after 2018. Um, then this one's definitely exclusive, the blue Parasaurolophus. Uh, you can't really see it in the camera that well, but it's got this like thin film of purple, I think. Again, I cannot for some reason see it through the camera, but you can definitely see it in person. Um, got Baby Bumpy, got the Green Ankylosaurus from 2018. I never picked this figure up, so I'm glad that they put it in this line. Um, and then I'm guessing this is Toro, it's supposed to be Toro. It more reminiscent of the uh, the Control and Conquer Carno before the Toro, Toro one, but you can see it's got the snout scar, and then we've got the Ceratosaurus. Um, not really looking like the Camp Cretaceous one. Like, one was green, and I think one was, like, grayish in color, but Ceratosaurus nonetheless. And then you've got blue, obviously. I <laughs> completely forgot. So, yeah, that's a really nice um, assortment. This is perfect for any collectors or kids that want to get, like, all the characters. Because you got the main ones, Rexy, Indominus, Bumpy, Blue, Toro, the Carnet, I mean, the Ceratosaurus. So, basically all of them. Um, except for Scorpius Rex, that was never made as a mini blind bag figure. I don't think it ever will, but it's pretty cool. It would have been a neat addition. Oh, and of course the Bioluminescent Para played a big role in it. So yeah, very neat that we've got all of the Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs in one set. Except for, oh yeah, Sinoceratops as well. But uh, those are not figures, so um, no doubt they wouldn't be in the set. Um, here on the back we've got some nice renders of them. Uh, to keep in mind we've got these exclusives looking really nice. Um, are the toes looking like they're painted on that? The toenails? Maybe not. These figures never have them but these are like HD high resolution versions. They're kind of like almost artistic in a way because you can see like the whole face is painted, the tongue and everything. I don't think the tongue's painted on the actual toy, but they've got the tongue painted on that. It seems like all the details stand out a lot better on these. Again, that pteranodon, oh my god, it's so cool. The Ceratosaurus is looking much better, look at that. It seems like the facial details are really enhanced. Same with like the ribs and the skin. Um, there's Bumpy, which is basically just the uh, attack squad, no, attack pack? I think it's attack pack figure, <laughs> just copied and pasted on there, looks nothing like the uh, the miniature. And then for some reason we've got the brown Ankylosaurus featured on the back, um, which is odd, because we've got the green one in here. I wonder what the 
There's a 10 pack. I wonder what the 10 pack looks like. I keep forgetting what's in that one. I know there's an exclusive Triceratops in that one, so maybe I'll track it down someday. Um, the box is busted, highly busted, so of course I'm opening it. Um, I won this in a giveaway on Instagram. I think it was Doll. Doll. The company that you find like pineapples and and uh, bananas at the grocery store, they were having a giveaway, and I I won it. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but I won. But it turns out they're having like giveaways every week, so they must have a lot of these boxes in stock. They must have got them on sale or clearance or whatever from Walmart. <laughs> but lucky that I did, because I actually have another one of these. A friend of mine got this pack for me already, so I'm going to have uh, two bioluminescent, bio there we go, paras, and two of everything in here, which is exciting, because I really want another one of this ankylosaur, and uh, I'm glad that I'll be growing that, because it's one of the better figures of the uh, mini action dino lineup. And the Pteranodon too, like, I can't get over how nice that looks. So let's bust these out, and we'll start off with the Pteranodon. So the details um, on the head, really well done. I love the, kind of looks like a, a flight hat, a little cap going on there. And then the patterning on the back and the wings. Um, I was really wishing the first line up Pteranodon look like this. I think, we, what did we get? We got like an orange. Let's see. Yeah, we got an orange. <laughs> it is like boring orange, yellow color. Um, so now we're getting this really nice, accurate screen coloration. And I think we also, there's a green one in the blind bag assortment for this lineup which is also really striking. <laughs> it's a stunning figure. It's got a different uh, paint job. Obviously it's got some sort of like swampy coloration with a different pattern and everything going on, which gives for great variation in the figure. Even the beak is a totally different style. So that's really nice, like wow. And let's see if the Dimorphodon is anything new. They painted the eye, the wingtips, uh, not the tail. I think on one of the figures, I don't know which they painted the tail. Um, I think I've got one of the older figures, we'll take a look. And it looks like they're the same. Yeah, different color wings maybe? Slightly. Interesting that they've got like some unique variation. Just very slight though. Uh, next we'll do the Baryonyx figures. go. Aw, they look so cute together. Absolutely adorable. I think I'm going to be having three sets of them once, uh, once I get the package from Joe. Wow. They're really neat. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, totally unique. Love that about them. So cute. They had a nice thing going in the show. Um, of course, we're never going to see them again, but really cool kind of, I guess, character type dinosaurs. Um, so we'll pop this one out. This one's the brown stegosaurus. And we'll compare it to the original brown stegosaurus. If I can find it. Oh. Uh, I don't think I can. I don't know where it went. For some reason it's not... Oh, bingo, found it. it. Seems to be... The only difference is the original has green, like this darker green. More foresty green, like evergreen green on the plates only. And this one's got kind of slightly more bluish green. And it goes onto the back, but that, as nice as it is, is sucky because it does not continue onto the tail. So that's a bit of a rip. 
And uh, like I said, it's a trend we see in the newer figures having that color bleeding. I don't know if they got lazy or if it's just to differentiate the newer ones from the older ones. So you're not just buying the same one over again. But um, it's definitely apparent. <laughs> so I'll put these ones off to the side. So we got Stego. Next we have Toro. So Toro has that little nose scar, which is nice, a good addition. And I think we've got Toro already um, somewhere in here. <laughs> this Toro? Yeah. And it seems to be identical to the first wave blind bag one. Um, my Toro's jaws completely gimped. <laughs> Grr. Make a good thumbnail. Grr. But this one um, is a lot nicer. So, oh my goodness. Defect. So yeah, no, I'm glad I got this one now because like I just shown you, my last one was a bit defective. Uh, next we have the Ceratosaurus, looking absolutely fine, has multiple colors on it, um, and of course it's similar to the other one as it's got that solid orange and red going for it. Very nice to see another, I think all, yeah, all of these dinosaurs were like, they had a pretty big role in the movie, or the shows actually, <laughs> oh my god. It's not a movie. Um, yeah, so here we've got the para. Maybe this one glows in the dark? No, <laughs> does not. So where's the pink one at? I'll have to get another pink one. Track that down somewhere. Give me a second. Bingo. And it's really bright, but yeah, blue and pink. See, the pink one's looking like it has some sort of, like, want to glow in the dark. Whereas this one, not so much. But yeah, they don't, they don't glow in the dark, sadly. It would be a cool gimmick. And I love the fact that, like, this one's got a dark blue head. And I think a different color blue, a lighter blue on the body. Where this one has, like, a very prominent pink and then a purpley pink on the body. But they're really cute together, really nice, good additions. Um, I love it. It would have been cool if they did large scale figures with this kind of see through plastic. That would have been pretty fun. Oh, bye bye, Grim. Foreshadowing. <laughs> so next we've got Rexy, the standard Rex figure. Um, instead of a, um, a more earthy, I don't know, matte paint job. It's got a glistening, um, <laughs> kind of glossy paint job on the back. And the typical Rex mold. They never made a <laughs> another mold. It would have been better <laughs> because they've got so many of this Rex in this uh, mini action dino assortment. But nonetheless, it's still your standard and it looks pretty neat. Though she do be looking a little slim, though. So next, the exclusive Indominus Rex. And thanks to its solid whiteness, it's just super bright for the camera. Um, it has that gray wash on the back. Pretty shiny. Um, and I actually like it. It makes the details stand out a lot better. No paint on the tongue, like it said on the back of the box. I feel scammed. It's got little features like, look at that. Little quills on the bottom of the arms. That's super cute. So we'll put Indominus over there. And we've got the Brachiosaurus. Um, it's the same figure that you can find in previous lineups. Not the first lineup though, it's a different... Oh! Oh, never mind. For some reason, I didn't notice 
there's like brown on the back. I don't know if you can see it right there and right there. That's pretty cool. It's not just like this purpley color and this lighter base. That's pretty cute. Here's the Brachio. A nice welcome addition to the lineup. I know the first um, Legacy Collection Brachio looks a lot better paint-wise, um, but at least we can get the mold now. And then here's the Ankylosaurus I've always wanted and for some reason missed out on, which sucked, but I love the green. It's always like, it's like nostalgic, the greeny blue. Of course it reminds me of the actual figure. And we can compare it to the brown one, I guess. Where are you at? Oh wait, that's not the brown one, that's Bumpy. Okay, we'll compare it to adult Bumpy, why not? Which is way brighter. <laughs> um, love that. Love that it's not the brown one. The brown one, I've got a lot of now. <laughs> well, when I say a lot, I mean, <laughs> I actually mean two. But, uh, yeah, finally getting one of these. So that's nice. And I love the feature on it, the tail swings. Pretty useful for photography. Now, Bumpy's been packaged with the tail down. I think Bumpy has been packaged like this before in the camp playset. That one with, like, the Stegosaurus and then Darius and then the Baryonyx. But yeah, you got a little bit of tail action. <laughs> very cute, very tiny. It's interesting that they actually were able to add that in. No paint on the tail, surprising amount of paint detail on the head, and then none on the body. Kind of sad. But cute um, for like the season that this one was released on. I think this was, what, season one to two? This is supposed to cover. Um, so it's obviously got Baby Bumpy in there. And then we've got Blue. Which is interesting. Um, I think this is a different variant to the first one, maybe? Yeah, this blue is darker. It's got like this dark shade on the top. Um, the bottoms are the same. It's got a darker uh, stomach and tail. And the blue is also darker on the side. So everything's fairly darker about this one compared to the original. Um, is more lighter, but that's fairly it. They're basically the same. And oof, there we go. That's a lot of dinosaurs to add to the the assortment. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I've been getting more of these than like I'm used to. So I'll actually use this background. It's really nice. It's a decent size. It's got the camp and everything. So yeah, there we have it, the 15 mini action dino assortment. Now maybe I'll try and track down the 10 pack. I kind of want to get the exclusive Triceratops from that. Um, and I think there's a regular Parasaurolophus in that pack as well. And it's always nice to have an extra Parasaurolophus. Um, <laughs> also, it's cool that Mattel released the, uh, the budget para for the, uh, what is it? It's like the, the lineup, the cheap lineup. Um, I can't get that, it's not in Canada, but it's cool if you want to build herds. Maybe one day they'll actually release more basic lineup paras. But yeah, no, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I definitely did. <laughs> These were very fun to open and look at. I'm glad to have got a second set of these. Um, a lot of these dinosaurs are good herd animals, good for photography and whatnot. So hopefully I get around to doing some of that in the future. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, make sure to check me out for more stuff like this. Bye-bye.